Okay, so before you proceed to the lab for uh, doing the worksheet activity and the next lab activity which is also on visualizations, we thought it's a good idea to just give you a quick idea of what the lab activity is so that you can go to the lab and do both of them together. The goal of this activity is to find a visualization for your course. Uh, if you find one for a course that you will be teaching in this coming semester, you will in fact be able to use it in that course. And once you find it, this lab ends with you trying to write some strategies to use and integrate that lab in the particular class. So you will see the same slides on Moodle and what you really have to do is follow along the instructions which are all given in the slide. So we will walk through the first few slides here. It says how to perform this lab, that is in fact the first slide of the lab and you will be doing this lab with uh, in groups of two or three ideally with participants who are in your domain or subject because then you can find the same visualization and you can do the lab together. So over T what you could do is pair up with people or find uh, groups, uh, form groups of three of people who are in the same domain or even teaching the same subject and all the information, instructions and activities that you need for the lab are given in this presentation which is uploaded. If you see a slide with a white background like the one you are seeing now, it means it is an in information or instruction slide. So you have to read it and do what it says. If you see slides that look like this with a yellow background, those are slides in which you have to actually do something and you have to carry out an activity and write something. So these are the activity slides. The questions of the activities are given there and there is room given for the answer. So you can simply download this presentation and type in your answers where it says write your answer. So what you will do in this lab first is uh, or the goals of the lab is to as we uh, as I discussed a moment ago first search the web to find a visualization and then identify ways to integrate it. It gives you some instructions on slide 7 as to where to find visualizations and how to find it. It gives you several what is called learning object repositories which are collections, web based collections of animations and simulations and other learning materials. Uh, you can go through it and try to uh, find a visualization suitable for your lab, for your course. Once you find it there are some more activities where it asks you what, which visualization did you choose, why did you choose it and so on. So that is all I would like to say right now. 